chosen and accepted. Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. What do you put your trust, your descendancy and family, or in social networks and governments, or in your own strength or good deeds? The people of Israel were selected by God and still are his chosen people. Despite that, there has been a lot of disobedience. Same as everybody else in the world, nobody is holy and perfect. The same way also throughout the history, there has been disobedience. We can read throughout the Old Testament, for example, at the time when Israel had kings, Many of them, they did not obey God. They put other idols and worshipped other gods and so on. And also, there was a disobedience to crucify Jesus. And there was also a lot of punishment throughout history. The destruction of Jerusalem. Many people led into asylum to other nations. Finally, the nation dissolved not existing for many years and a lot of persecution. But finally also the fulfillment of the promises has come back as a nation. Many promises have come true that we can read throughout the Old Testament. The prophet of Ezekiel and Amos, also in the Gospel to Luke, the New Testament. And then how it all goes on, much more important, who receives salvation, who receives God's mercy, that is described in detail in Romans, in the letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter 11, very interesting and recommended to read. God uses different ways, different times with different people, and yet the principle is same. God offers his love, his grace, his mercy to everyone no matter from which people, no matter what, from which descendancy or country or background, God's love is available to everyone. Sometimes it might be that one becomes jealous, even in a good way, in order to see how God's love acts, how God helps and enables new beginnings. But in the end, the important thing is it does not depend on our good deeds. No individual on earth, neither in the past nor now, is perfect. Nobody can live up to the holy standards of God. But praise did be to God that he has bridged that gap between us who are lost, who are not perfect, who have so many wrong in our heart, between himself, the holy God. Praise be to God for his mercy that he has bridged that gap and lets us enter into his kingdom, no matter from which background, no matter from which origin or from which tribe or people. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for that great promise that you offer your love to everyone, no matter from which people or background. We ask for forgiveness that so many times we look at other things, at outer factors. Your love alone is what counts, your forgiveness, your grace, your help. Thank you for all that you provide, that you enable new beginnings, that you let us participate. And no matter how far we have been away, you invite us back. Your grace is available. To you alone be all grace all praise and glory and honor forever. Amen.